Hey friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and I'm still off center. I've been trying to fix this <laughs> for the last couple of minutes and I've done mess my camera up. So I'm off center, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm on here. <laughs> so hello, hello everybody. Thank you for hopping on. If when you're hopping on, say hello. Uh, it's Thursday night. This is where we craft it's on Thursday night. So sorry, I'm off center, but I'm going to be covering all this up anyway. Hey, Luann. Hello, Kelly and Tina and Jalen and Claudia. Hello, all my friends. Karina and Linda. Oh, they're going so fast. Hey, Joyce and Jerry and Debbie and Susan and Debbie and Nancy and Peggy and Charlie and Carla and Jerry and Nancy. Hello, hello. Wow, they're rolling fast, y'all. I can't even hardly see them. Hey, Donna and Stephanie and Rhonda. If I missed your name, I'm so sorry. Hello, everybody. Yay. Everybody's saying, hey, gosh, y'all, the comments are going. I don't know if they changed something or what, but they're going so fast. Hey, Robin and Roxanne and Robin and Belinda, Betty Jean. Hello, y'all. Hello. Thank y'all for hopping on. Beautiful color on me. I, I know. I love y'all. Love this color shirt. Y'all know it's Beware. Um, I love this shirt. Oh, these are yes, my earrings. And I've had. Hey, Nate, Nancy. I've had people ask me about my earrings. Um, if I'm gonna put them out again this year, and the answer is yes. I've just got to cut them. I've got to paint them and get them put together. But yes, I will be putting these back out again for fall. Hey, Andrea. Yay, you got to catch me live. Whoop, whoop, Julie. <laughs> hey, Kaylee. Yes, Kaylee, twins. <laughs> um, got to wear our shirts. I love this shirt. Um, hey, Samantha. Hey, Waletta. Sorry if I missed the comments. Going, I don't know what happened in the beginning, but they were like <laughs> going up the screen. I was like trying to catch up. Hey, Gwen, Darlene. Oh, you love your sunflower earrings? Yes, I do too. And um, I put this shirt on. I said, oh, I got to find my earrings. So I started digging through my earrings and I found them. Um, so I will definitely be making more. And of course, I'm going to have some different than last year sunflower styles too that I've been picking out. It's just, y'all, I just wish there was more hours in the day. And and unfortunately, there's not. I mean, I y'all, it's just... <laughs> today has been one of those days where... It's just, it's just been rolling today. Um, thank you, Mary. Hey, Bev. Hey, Re. Notifications must have worked. And I sent out a text so y'all would know. Um, oh, you have huge sunflower fields by you. I, th I know they're so pretty. When I see them like on the highway from going somewhere and people playing them, they're so pretty. Hey, Louise from Australia. Can't believe it's Thursday. Barbara, I know. I have been a day off all week. I don't know either. I think it's the day before or the day after. I don't know. This week has just messed me all up with my days. You know how you have those weeks where you're just like, I'm not sure what day it is. <laughs> it's just crazy. Um, hey, Anina. Yay. Welcome back. Hey, Marlinda. Yes, you got the text. Yay. So, y'all come on in. We're going to probably use the rest of my block of clay tonight. Um, I have done a couple of things that I've already got dry that we're going to make and paint. Um... Show the three pin the pillows. These are th these are pumpkins that I did not last year, year before. Yes, so they're like a little. It's a pumpkin stack. So I was trying to find stuff to put in a background for fall, and these were on a shelf, and I brought them down and put them over here. Oh wait, Car oh, yeah, Corinne, you got two weeks of vacation coming. Let me put them back over here. They're probably gonna fall. Okay. Ah, told you. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna pick it up with my toe. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Okay, let me pick it up. Okay. Now, there he is. So y'all know, y'all saw this. This is what we made. Part of last week, part of this week. Um, was our little jack-o'-lantern, y'all. He is just fabulous, if I do say so myself. I think he's adorable. And I see other people making them in the group. And I just saw one that just blew my mind. It was the, it was a lady had done her checkerboard, kind of like the Mackenzie Childs technique. And it's beautiful. I was like, oh my gosh, it's impressive. Um, oh, Karina's going to California. Nice, nice. Back short. You're wearing black shorts too, Kaylee? <laughs> That's all I wear. They're just white, like little comfy shorts. Um, hey, Angela. But yes, we are going to do some more air dry clay since 
a lot of y'all have got went out and gotten the clay. I thought, well, I'm going to do something else with the clay because y'all know I don't like to just do one thing and say, oh, well, that's all of that. And then, you know, there's lots of other things you can do with it. But I'm going tomorrow to Hobby Lobby and I am getting more. I'm probably going to get two blocks this time because I'm about through with this one and I like to keep it on hand because when the mood strikes, I want to have it, right? So there's our jack-o'-lantern and I got to find my other ones. Um, Diane, that is a glass jar and I moved the other jar I had and it's got air dry clay on it. So if you go to my main page and go down, you'll see this, you'll see the part, second part first. And then you'll see the other part I did last week where we actually made the jar and then we painted it Tuesday night because it has to dry overnight. So we are going to, uh oh, Hazel, they were out. Of course, because it's on sale and people go buy it when it's on sale. Um, yeah, because this, I don't know if they've upped the price. This says $11.99, and so it's 40% off, and somebody just said it was $7.79. Um, Roxanne, <laughs> I used a whole conglomeration of colors. I did like a, a burnt orange, and then I dabbed on some other oranges colors, and then I rubbed on some, some copper, just like some just copper paint and wiped it right back off. Um, Elizabeth, you can do the clay, especially what we're doing tonight. What we're doing tonight is kind of, is kind of easy, but it's gonna look super cute. Um, so it's, it's more of a, um, I'll show y'all what I made, so I'll show you. It's $12.99, okay, I figured they had up the price because I've had this block for a while and, um, and it's, this was $11.99. I don't know when this was, but so I'm sure they had went up on prices just like everything else has gone up on us. Um, okay, $12.99 minus, minus 40%. Okay, so it, yeah, they must have went up a dollar because they did away with the coupons and, you know, all that stuff. Okay, so let me show you what we're making first. Um, hello, Sue. Hey, Donna. Okay, so I started doing these yesterday. Dorothy helped me a little bit. Um, but y'all, these are so cute. I don't even know which one's hers now. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, we're gonna make, now these aren't painted because I'm gonna paint them tonight. Um, I'm trying to see if my stems are, are in there or not. I'm gonna make some little pumpkins because these are gonna be so easy for you to make. They're simple. Um, if you can take Play-Doh and roll it into a ball, then you can definitely do this. Um, but look, like there's a little tall one and a little fat squatty one. And I, I got kind of crazy <laughs> making little pumpkins. Um, look, check this out though. Look at my acorn. Look, I made an acorn. And I put little designs all over the top and it's like flat on one side. So it sits like this. Um, hey, Melissa. Hobby Lobby. Yeah, they don't give the 40% coupon, but the clay is 40% off this week. It just rotates, but the clay hardly ever goes on sale that I've noticed. So I have to get it when they have it on sale. Um, so there's another pumpkin. Maybe this one's Dorothy's. I don't know. And then there's another little pumpkin. So whoop, I've got like, I've got a whole little patch here and, a, and one acorn. And then, um, <laughs> aren't they cute? Um, and then I've got little ghosties. Look at his little, his little ruffled, um, little bot, little sheet, isn't it cute? And then I've got a baby ghost. Look how stinking cute they are. Aren't they cute? Y'all, you can, if, like I said, if you don't have it, then make it, okay? Um, like I made, I think I've put it up. I had a little bird nest in the spring. I, I couldn't find any little robin eggs that I needed to go in the nest. And I got some clay and made some egg shapes and painted them. And I made my own eggs because I didn't have the size I needed. Um, so, um, but this one is just totally freehand. You don't need anything but the clay. But, um, Rhonda, <laughs> look at what you typed, Rhonda. <laughs> oh, my word. We're starting off in the ditch already. <laughs> um, oh, with cinnamon and applesauce. That's cool. But that would smell good. That would really smell good. I wonder if we, oh, hold on. I wonder if we coated it with cinnamon. 
we'll, we're gonna try we're gonna try that too so we're gonna i'm gonna get my cinnamon out and we're gonna try that and just if i can coat it <laughs> ron did the typo oh my gosh um hey shelby so that's my friend shelby that is my friend shaney that y'all have seen before that is her daughter and she is my hero today because she got us Taylor Swift tickets for October of 2024. I'm going to get to see Taylor Swift, y'all. I am so excited. So excited. She's a rock star. She'll be your rock star. Okay. So, let me show you the other things I made. Now, I broke down today and I made these. I got to lower this chair or something because my camera, I was having trouble with it a minute ago. I sat down and it like flopped forward and then I had to fix it right before I went live. I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening? So, it's all weird. So, I had to had to drop my chair down just a little bit. Um, yes, Shelby, I can't wait. We're going to have so much fun. But anyway, so I got my little pumpkins. But I made these today. And since they were so thin, they have already dried for the most part. <laughs> They're dry. Um, anyway, so I made these little pumpkins. And so I got sticks from outside. Same with these. I just got little twigs. And I made this, 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 blah, this. <laughs> and then I tried a different way of making the little ridges, if you can see them. Um, I made that one. And then I've got a family of ghosts over here. We're going to make them cute, but see how it's got, that's all like 3D. So we're going to make some of these. But you can, yeah, you can put magnets. Donna, yes, yeah, these will be perfect for magnets. Because see how thin it is? <laughs> it's like a rolled out cookie dough. My daughter's got Taylor Swift tickets today. Yes. And it's a whole year, over a year away. And I'm like, oh, okay. So anyway, and there's my other little ghosty. So I'm going to, I actually have a little project I'm going to do probably with this little guy. And he's super cute. So I kind of thought of this last minute. And um, hey, Patty. And so, we're going to make some cute stuff tonight, y'all. I, sometimes, I just like to sit here and just make some stuff. You know, not not really have just like, okay, I got this project and I got to do it all. I just want to sit here and play and talk to y'all. Hey, Glenda, can you go with me? I wish I could take all y'all with me. Judy, that would make cute pins. Look, oh my gosh. Yes, you could get the little pin back. And, well, of course, we're going to paint these. But, yes, that would be so cute. Uh, Barbara, I don't see why you couldn't. It's, I don't, I really don't see why you couldn't. The little pasta roller that people use with the polymer clay. Um, and I have polymer clay and I have used polymer clay, the kind that you bake. It's a whole lot of fun. Um, but this is just like a clean slate and you can paint it. Um, oh, you got to go see Tim McGraw. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to make... Y'all, these are, these are so simple. I'm telling you. If you can make a ball like you did when you were a kid with Play-Doh, you can do this. That, yeah, now we made this last week, and then we painted it this week. So you can go back and watch that, because it was a two-parter, because the clay has to dry. Um, and I only made one. I didn't want to have to do it twice, so I painted it. I mean, I did it one night, and then we let it dry over the weekend, and we painted it this week. Hey, Pat. Headed to the camper, Sue said. Okay, so, but this clay, like and like I just saw somebody say, this is not ever cracked on me, okay? If I've used other clay, other clay, can't talk, and it does crack, okay? If you're not careful, and it will be, it's so upsetting when you make something like this that took a lot of time and effort, and then you wake up the next day, and it's all cracked. Uh, it will, tr trust me, it will crush your spirit. <laughs> so... I, I've all, I only use this clay now because I know it doesn't crack on me. Um, yeah, we're going to do the acorn, Patricia. It's, oh, it's so simple. I'm telling you. You're going to think, oh, my gosh. I was like, okay, is this going to be enough to do on a live? But they're just so cute, cute, cute. Hey, Joanne, I cannot understand what you're saying because I can't read whatever, if that's a different language or what that is. Did I make these? Yes, I did. Um, I did those two years ago in the fall. Um, you're welcome to go back on my page or you can go to YouTube. There's easier to find on YouTube. Okay. So let's make, let me see how much clay, this is how much clay I have left. It's that much. So I have to get some tomorrow. Um, hey Pam. So I'm going to leave this one this size and I've got to get, here's my little bowl. 
get my water. Gail sees trouble coming already. Oh no, we can't go off on the on, on the um on the rails yet. Hey Carrie, yes, I have made snowmen. I actually kind of started this whole little clay series that we're doing. I guess it's turned into. Um, I did started off doing the salt and pepper show, uh, salt and pepper uh, snowmen, and I make their heads out of the clay, and that's how we started this. Um, Angela, I get it at Hobby Lobby. Michaels has it. Amazon has it as well. Um, so, uh, but I, I have done whole snowmen. I don't know if I've done it on here, but I have made some for myself. Um, okay. So all you're going to do now, pumpkin is a, is a round shape. Now I got water right here and I'll just put my, let me put it over here y'all can see it. I just put my fingers in the water and if you have like a crease or a seam or something where the you've mashed the clay together or you got fingernail marks in it like I do, you can just smooth them out and just kind of like you did when you were a kid and made Play-Doh. That's all that, that's all we're doing. And so I'm going to kind of set it on the table and I'm just going to get the bottom of it flat. So see, see the bottom's flat. Okay. Um... Yes, it's on sale this week at Hobby Lobby. It's 40% off, and I've got to get some. I'll probably go and have to go to two Hobby Lobbies or something because they probably won't have it because it's on sale. <laughs> but they don't hardly ever put it on sale. That's the problem. Okay, so you just get you a good round shape like a pumpkin, and I made my bottom flat so it will sit. And this is real technical and hard, okay? Now, you can, you know this little tool... I love from Dollar Tree. I have them all over my room in here because I use them for everything. They got a little pointy tip on that end. They got that end. Um, hey, Maureen. And get that flat. So, it's so technical. It's, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> so, you can either take that end or this end. And I'll do it both ways. Um, and I'm just going to start at the top. And you're just going to make that little crease right there and then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to bring that line all the way around to the other side so now I've got it like that super hard okay <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same thing and you can make it as deep as you want it to be um see some of these they're really deep and then some of them aren't and you can put as many lines as you want to do hey D I'm so glad you're loving it Got some yesterday. Yay! Y'all gonna be all playing with the clay this weekend. So now I'm gonna... I went this way, so now I'm gonna go this way, like across, you know, across. It's so easy. You know, you kind of want to give it a little pressure so you can have, you know, a good little dent there in your clay. So see, now I've got that. Hey, Teresa! So now... Oh, Wendy used a rolling pin on her clay. That's a good idea. Or I use just a jar. Y'all see how crusty it is from the clay? <laughs> so that's my rolling pin. I just keep it in the little box where I keep all my stuff. Um, but anyway, so now I'm just going to split the difference between all of that. And you can make as many of the little ribs or whatever they call them. I think it's ribs as you want. So I'm just going to do the same thing. All right. So there it is. So see, it's just got all those little lines. Now I'm going to put it back on the table and kind of get it flat. Because, you know, when you hold it, it kind of wants to kind of... What's my hair doing over here? It kind of wants to poof out. Hey, Dee Dee. Hey, Annette. Oh, you went to Olive Garden. I'm super jealous. Yum. Olive Garden's good. Although, we made a spaghetti recipe. I love spaghetti. And my husband's not so much on a red sauce person. He'll eat it, but he's not just excited about it like I am. But he's found a recipe that if you take your marinara and your ground beef that you've cooked and then take a block of cream cheese and put in it, and then you boil your noodles, put your noodles in with your sauce, and then sprinkle mozzarella cheese on top in like a bacon dish and then bake in the oven for a few minutes till it melts, Y'all, that's the best spaghetti you ever put in your mouth. Cream cheese makes everything better. 
It's so good. That's what we had for supper. Hey, Janet. Caroline don't like... My husband likes it, but he likes white sauce better. But this, he's like, this is like a million times better than spaghetti. So, y'all try that. Put some cream cheese in there. Okay, so there's my little pumpkin. And I went outside and got the best kind of craft supplies there is, which is free. <laughs> Nature free. And I have some, a couple of bushes out here. Because y'all told y'all a lot of our landscaping died when the temperatures dropped from like 50 something to zero one day in the winter. So I got, we have one little bush out here and I went and put, picked off a whole bunch of little stems off of this poor little tree. And um, taco salad, that's some of my favorite too. Mexican and Italian, y'all can eat it every day. I love it. Cream cheese and your baked spaghetti. It's probably about the same thing, Tammy. It's so good. And I use, I use the, um, the, the cream cheese is like a third less fat or whatever. You can't tell a difference once you get it all mixed up. And I, I looked for the fat free and they didn't have it. Um, yeah, a whole block, Brenda, and a, and a pound a pound of ground beef, a jar of marinara. Because my husband, I bought spaghetti sauce today. He's like, no, marinara and spaghetti sauce are different. So we had to go back to Walmart to get, to, which is around the corner, to get uh, marinara. Because he said it's different. So, anyway. And then you put a block of cream cheese. So, it's a pound of ground beef cooked. And then uh, a jar of sauce and a block of cream cheese. Hey, Connie. Hey, Melissa. And then you boil your noodles. Mix it accordingly. Put it in like a 9 by 13. Mozzarella cheese on top. Bake it until the cheese is all melted. And you're good to go. It's so good. Yeah, I did the Philadelphia. I did the Philadelphia. Okay. So, my little stick... Y'all, you know, best stuff outside is free. And um, then I just take it, and I just basically stick it down in my little pumpkin right here. And I just let it dry like this. Um, So, if... I'm going to do my little lines a little deeper. If, for some reason, it dries, and your stem, like this one's going to come out, is like that. I just let it dry in there. So, for some reason, if your stem is coming out after it's dry well we can fix that y'all know we'll just um this is the dried one okay i'll just put some hot glue on that and then i'll just poke it right back down in there and it's not going to come out anymore so when you when it's drying i just leave them in there and hope it'll stay and if it doesn't i just glue them Cream cheese. I know. It makes it creamy. It makes your spaghetti sauce creamy. And it's not... Um, the cream cheese kind of cuts that acidic, I guess. It's really good. Kathy, the, this is made out of air dry clay. This DOS clay. I love this stuff. Um, but these are all dried already. And we'll make, so we're going to make some more because I'm going to have a whole little patch of pumpkins. Oh, you're visiting your kids in Florida. Nice. Find sticks in the yard. Okay. So, if this is the clay. I love it, love it, love it. Um, Making something of wood. Joyce, it depends on what it is. Like, it, my wood my wood cutouts and stuff, I use super glue to put it together. Um, hey, Roxanne. Okay. So, we're going to make... Let's make, a, let's make a couple more pumpkins because, you know, I got to have a whole bunch. Because, look... <laughs> like I don't have enough. Okay. And then here's the one I just made. So it'll have to dry overnight or a little more, depending on how big your pumpkin is and depending on how thick it is. Okay. These technically, they, if they feel dry, but they still may be wet on the inside, but I, I'm not too worried about it. Um, but you can, if you want to really not use so much clay, if you make a bigger pumpkin, Dollar Tree aluminum foil. I know y'all seen me do this before. Take it, ball it up to however big you want your pumpkin. Roll out your dough. Your dough. <laughs> Roll out. I'm cooking now. Roll out your clay and then coat the coat your aluminum foil with the clay. 
so it's not solid and you're not using half a block of clay if you want a big pumpkin, okay? So do the center or you could cover a styrofoam ball or something like that if you don't want to use that much clay. If you wanted to make a like a softball size pumpkin, you know, don't make it all thick of clay. Make the inside of something else. And this is easy and cheap. Or you could use a little kid's ball or something like that. <laughs> Cooking with Grandma Lee. <laughs> Kaylee, I'm going to get you. You felt like Stafford. Um, oh, Colin must be on. Hello, Colin. They got to see their baby girl again today. They had an um, ultrasound, the second part of their 3D ultrasound. They got to see her. Said her she had her foot up here and her hands in her face and stuff, so it's funny. Um, I can't wait to see that little booger. I cannot wait. Yeah, styrofoam balls, ping pong balls would work. Um and just cover it with the clay instead of making it solid. If you wanted to make anything, you know, any bigger than this, because you're going to be using a lot of clay. Yeah, it is Stafford's birthday today. I did see that. Um, punk ping pong balls. Yes. So use something else that's, you're not using all your clay. Okay. So I'm going to make it flat on the bottom. Just kind of get it. Y'all know how to do this. <laughs> Why have I never thought of that? The baby's due November 2nd. Uh, I think the baby's going to call me Lily, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Um, okay, so this is, I'm going to use this end, and I'm going to show you the difference. So, or you can use a thumbtack or whatever, or the end of a paintbrush, y'all. You can just take the end of a paintbrush and do this. So, whatever you have that's going to make, like, little lines like this. And then I'm just going to go the other side like I did before. Now, it looks like a peach. <laughs> um, Diana's a GG. Lori, I don't see why it wouldn't stick to cork. Absolutely, it probably will. I mean, it's stuck to that glass. Lulu. Okay, so now I'm just going the other direction. So, see, now I've got that. And now you just kind of split the difference. I'm going to smooth that back out. Okay. You know, and if you get it all mixed up and you don't like it, just roll it back out in your hands and start again. And, like, sometimes I have, like, little creases, and I'll just get that, get water, and then I'll smooth those little lines out if I press my fingernail into it, which I do all the time. Cappy, that's cute instead of Kathy. That is like so cute. Mammy, Mima, Granny. My mother and my mother's mother was Granny. And I know I'm not carrying on that tradition, but the baby, yeah, the baby might call me something totally entirely different. <laughs> so we'll see. So I'm going to do another one like that. All right, so I've got all these little ridges and you know if they're not deep enough just go back and because sometimes i'll mash my thumb over them and close them back up again and then it's like oh gosh i have to be careful where i touch it okay and get it flat again so there's our little pumpkin isn't he cute your granny also all right so where where's that other so i'm only well that's kind of short I'm trying to find me a I only got so many stems out here. Nana and Granny. And if you don't have, you know, well, you got sticks in your yard, but you could also break uh, shishu bob sticks. You could break that. Um, cinnamon sticks, if they were, pumpkins were big enough. Grammy and Bambi, <laughs> that's cute. Okay, so I'm just going to stick my little stem right in the clay and I'm just gonna let it dry like this because if it ends up where they come out I'll just hot glue them in there <laughs> be call for 11 years that's cute so there's that one so there's our two so see y'all this can happen really fast you're gonna <laughs> have a whole pumpkin patch before you know it um so I'm gonna set them over here and we're gonna do let's do the acorn and I'll show y'all um, I had to figure this out. Uh, it, it was like, do I, yeah, I had to figure this out. Um, shipping was $9. Um, did you try to buy some clay? 
some Gaga Granny 14. Wow. Oma. Yeah, I've heard of Oma. Isn't that like German for grandmother, I think, maybe? Gigi. Lolly. Now, I've heard Lolly and I've heard Pops. That's cute. Multiplying pumpkins, yes. And it's going to have, it happens really fast. Before your eyes, you'll have a whole table full of pumpkins. But how cute would they be on a tear tray or just like in a little dough bowl or, you know, in your, like in your living room, let's just say, and you've got a little, like a side table or a entryway table and you just had like, you know, a couple little painted little pumpkins sitting next to a picture or something like that. That'd be so stinking adorable. Or, I just thought about something. Okay, I'm gonna try it in a minute, but when, sometimes things just kind of come to my mind and, I, and I'm thinking, oh, that would be cool. So I'm gonna see if I can pull it off. Um, all right, so I'm gonna make a ball. And I, well, actually I need to kind of make it like an oval, actually. This took me a lot of thinking on this one. The acorn could get me in trouble. Uh, yeah, I know, but everybody likes acorns. So we're gonna, we're doing it. Where is, I was looking for, I have a steak knife in here somewhere and I don't know where, oh, here it is. So I was gonna try to cut this. It's my steak knife that I keep in here. Y'all thought I was kidding. <laughs> okay. So, I just cut my oval in half. So, you can actually make two of this if you wanted to. But I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of roll it on the table to get that acorn shape of the, the nut part. You know, the bottom part, not the cap. All right. So, here's my acorn bottom. So, I'm going to try to make the cap out of this. So, that's the part I cut off. And I'm just gonna kind of stretch it out and get it a little bigger than that so I can make the cap. Cooking with clay, yes. So see, I want it to be, um, that's the flat spot, but where it just sits on the table like this. So my, I just set it there and let it dry like that and it made the flat spot, you know. So I am, hey Cheryl, you're okay? All right, so I'm gonna, I'm making my little cap. And y'all, these are gonna look different. Every one you do is gonna look different. And that's the beauty of it. And the second best thing about this is that if you don't like it, just ball it up and start again. <laughs> it's not like it dries instantaneous and you have time to mess up, you know, your mess ups. You have time to correct your mistakes. Okay, so I kind of just kind of stretched, flattened it a little bit and stretched this out to where I have this little cap. Um, all right. So there's my acorn. And so we're just gonna put his little hat on, his little acorn hat. You see, this one looks totally entirely different than this one. But it's all in how you do your clay and it just, it'll look different every time. This one looks like he's got a little flat cap. He looks like the acorns around here. Yay, Sherry got her clay. Look, Sherry, we're making baby pumpkins. And now we're making a cute acorn. Let me hold it where y'all can see it. We're making an acorn. Hey, Alicia. Okay, so here's my little acorn. Now, to get it to kind of stick together, um, where's my water? I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go see the little seam there. And this is real technical, but I'm gonna take my fingernail, the back side of my fingernail, this this part, and I'm just basically gonna take the clay from the bottom part and kind of marry it up to the clay up there. See how this has got a crack and you can, let's see. You can see the crack. So like, I'm just gonna take my finger and just kind of mash the clay up toward the cap and marry that together and make it one piece. And hopefully it will stay. That one stayed. And then I'm just gonna kinda keep rubbing around that, the bottom underside of that cap, cause it's kinda wet because I wet my finger with the, you know, with the clay. And it just kinda marries that seam together where you don't really have a seam anymore. If that makes any sense. All right. So this, this little acorn looks like we have, 
I don't know what kind of acorn, what kind of oak trees we have around here. We just have oak trees. But you know, there's white oaks. There's white oaks. Don't they have the big, long acorns? Our oaks are just, I don't know what it is. <laughs> All right, Robin. Um, so they ha they're like little bitty acorns like this with little caps. Oh, that pink stick. Yeah, that would work good. So you could just, as long as you kind of cover up that seam and get the seam closed, you'll be fine. Um, and you just kind of keep going around it. And now it's all just, see under there where there's not a crack anymore. So I just kind of pregnant acorn. Betty, I made mushrooms last week. And I painted them and they're in my plants in my house. <laughs> I painted them. I had some that are dry. Um, going back on the bus, right? Okay. So there's my little acorn. And so I'm going to break my stick. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to break my little stick. And we're going to make him a little stem. So I'm just going to put it in the little, in his clay there. And if you make the stem long enough, it'll go down into the bottom piece. And it'll kind of join them together a little bit. But if the stem comes out, we'll just glue it in once it's dry. Okay, so there's that little acorn. Ain't he cute? Yes, I'll post a picture of the mushrooms. I forgot totally about it until I saw them yesterday. I went, oh, I didn't post my pictures of my mushrooms because I put them in my house and my plants. <laughs> so I'm just going to let it dry. I got fingernail marks on it again. I'm just going to set it like this. And it automatically makes its own little flat spot. So I'm just going to set it over here and it's going to dry. See, that one did the same thing. This one has, it has its own little flat spot. Oh, I forgot. I forgot his little top part. So I just took this, or you can take a pen or whatever. And I just went like this. I'll, I just did lines this way. And then I did lines this way. All over the little top. Because you know how it looks bumpy and has all those little ridges and lines and all that kind of stuff? That's what I was trying to make with my little crosshatch lines. I didn't do it. I, I'm not even trying to get it all spaced out and even and straight. I'm just basically going real quick and making all these little crosshatch little lines and giving that little top his little cap some little texture so when you paint it you're going to be able to see that really good so now i'll set him down make sure he looks like he should and so see he'll just sit there and dry for a day or so and it's going to make its own little flat spot he'll just sit there and dry okay i gotta fix this i got a like a fingernail mark in my clay that's my bad part is my fingernails yeah, I'm going to Hobby Lobby too tomorrow. Whoever just posted that, I'm going to Hobby Lobby too, because um, I'm getting clay. Okay, so there's that. Now we made that. Now we gotta make the little ghosties. These are easy too. Um, they're so stinking cute. But wait till they get painted, y'all. I'm gonna paint them. We're gonna paint these pumpkins. We're gonna paint the acorn. They're gonna be so cute. It's okay, Stacy. You can't. There's, the pumpkins are easy. You just make a little ball, and then you make a flat on the bottom, and you take this and make your little lines, put your stem in it, and let it dry. <laughs> it's easy. If you can make play doh and make balls with play doh like this, you've got it. It's easy. Um, because I know some people said, "Oh, I can't do that," and I'm like, "Oh, we're gonna do something easy." Yes, you're going to have little pumpkins and acorns all over your house. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to show y'all how I made these pumpkins. So, I did it two ways. So, see how the ridges on that one are out? And then I just did the lines on this one. But see how thin it is? It's like cookie thin. It's thin, thin. But I wanted it to dry um, today because I did these this morning. Um... Bev, I did the acorn top. I want to do it again. Let's make an acorn again. Okay. So, may need a little bit more this time. I may just make the bottom 
and the top separate, but just make your little ball. And just, if you just keep going, it's gonna, sometimes you have to get a little water on it because when you're working with this clay, it will kind of get dry. Um, okay. Yeah, model, okay, I have bought the Walmart clay, okay? And it cracked on all my stuff and I was so upset because I was making it for someone else and I had to remake it all out of this clay. I just don't trust any other kind of clay. All right, so I'm making kind of a, we're gonna make a little bit bigger acorn this time and I'm gonna make a different cap than using that piece. Okay, so here's my like, it looks like an egg and I'm gonna cut it with my little steak knife here. <laughs> That's been in my craft room y'all for, I couldn't even tell you how many years. 45 minutes away from everything. I know. And I, I, it stinks to be that far away. I used to be that far away from Hobby Lobby until I moved up here. Okay, so here's the bottom of my acorn. So you just kind of make an oval. And I cut it a little more than half. And now I have this piece. But I'm going to add some more to this so I can make the cap maybe a little bigger this time. Okay. Leaf dish for pumpkins and acorn. I have seen people make the dish and I need to try that. Do y'all know what she's talking about? She's talking about where you take the clay and you put saran wrap in here and then you press it down in the bowl or over the bowl with it turned over and then it dries to that form and you can um, do stuff in it. We need to do that now. Hazel ordered her clay. <laughs> All right, let me get a little bit more. Yeah, being that far from Hobby Lobby definitely keeps you out of trouble. I'm 20 minutes away, I think. It's still in my same county, but it's, you know, I have to go. The name of the clay is Doss, and it's air dry. It's not the baking kind. It's just air dry clay, and it has a bunch of, it's from Italy, so it's got a bunch of, I guess, French words and stuff on it. I don't know, but it's air dry. Okay, so there's my my little ball. So I'm gonna, to make the cap, I'm just gonna put it on here and we're just gonna kinda make that side flat and try to make his little cap. So you just kinda do it the best way you know how, basically. So I got that side flat. So I have like a, one of those half split beads or whatever. Now, I haven't made a bowl either out of the leaf thing. It'd be so pretty. But you can get the polymer clay. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Like, it's called uh, Sculpty or whatever, and they have Fimo and all that. You can get that clay, and you can get it colored if you want to, and you can do things with it. I like painting my stuff, too, but I like the colored as well. All right, so here's my little cap. It's kind of looking like a mushroom. Um, so I just, like I said, I just made a little ball and I flattened it and just, I'm just sitting here kind of making it like the top to a mushroom basically. So then it looks like this. Um, so let's see. So I'm gonna get it on there like I want it. And y'all see the little crack all the way around between the two. So I'm just gonna Get my finger, and my fingernail especially, and just kind of push the base clay up to the bottom of that cap. And I just keep kind of running my finger, and it'll it'll start closing up, because y'all can see the difference there. Let's see, hold on. See that crack? And then there's not a crack there. That's the part I've already done. So I just kind of push the clay up to marry it together. And you just kind of use your finger, your fingernail, and push it up there. And then just keep rubbing your finger or your thumb over it and smoothing it out. And it goes away. <laughs> Barb, Amazon's going to know that I made a, a craft with uh, the clay. So anyway, but this is just easy to make your own little decor pieces for your tear trays or, or whatever. Um, magnets. It, whatever you, if you have a, like a fall tree and you do a tree, you can make little ornaments 
like this and put a hole in them and make little ornaments for your tree. You know, I just like to have this on hand because if I don't have something I need, I can just grab the clay and make it myself. Um, and that's the beauty of it. And it's yours. It just like that, the gnome that I showed y'all the other night that my friend Deidre made something in my clay there. I don't know what that is. Um, you know, it has her fingerprints in it and it's priceless to me because she made it with her hands and it was molded and sculpted by her and it's mine now and I can look at it and know is y'all I got goosebumps thinking about it and I just I have it and it's hers and it's got her fingerprints in it and it's special to me because I taught her how to make it and then she made one and now I have it so it's a little part of her that I have but none of this is going to look exactly the same every time you do a pumpkin it's going to look different and they're all going to be unique and different in their own way. Just like pumpkins really are. None of them are the same. Um, so anyway, so now here's my... Trying to make his cap more not mushroomish. <laughs> kind of looks like a mushroom. Okay. So you just wet your fingers. Just keep going around it. Because like me, I've got fingernail marks all in it. Alright, so here's my little... There's my acorn. His cap looks a little bigger than the acorn, so I'm trying to smush it down some. Okay, same thing. I'm going to take that and I'm just going to make me some lines and some hash marks all over it. Nothing perfect, nothing straight. I'm just, that looks like a walnut or something, doesn't it? And... Just making a bunch of lines, and then I'll go the opposite way and make little, like, hash, you know, where it looks like little cross marks. Oh, you made, you made a pumpkin stem out of clay? Yeah, and if you got a pumpkin, so let's say you've got this pumpkin, and the stems broke off of it, or you have one of those styrofoam pumpkins from Walmart, and there's no stem, the stem came out, you don't know where the stem is. Get your clay out, make a stem, and glue them on. You'll never know. Nobody will ever know that, you know, that you had to make that stem didn't come on that pumpkin because it's probably going to look better than the one that came on it, to be honest. Because, you know, sometimes those little things just pull right out of that styrofoam and they don't look that great anyway. Um, so make your own. And that's why I have the clay. That's why I like having it. Like I had to make those little eggs for a nest that I had. I didn't. Um, yes, I'll show you the gnome. Um, <laughs> Jill, I'm the stem queen. So there's my little acorn stem, and I've got all the little hashy marks. See? Let me fix that right there. And if you do all this and don't like it, roll it back in a ball and start all over. You know, it's it's very forgiving in that way. So that stem's probably going to go all the way through into the base, which kind of helps it. Okay, so there is my little acorn. Here's the dried one. And then there's that one. So see, like if you had a bunch of these with some leaves and some pumpkins or whatever in your little bowl or an entry table, they're going to be so stinking cute, y'all. Painted metallic. Gosh, y'all get out of here. That's going to look cute. Or if you wanted to make an ornament, you could, you know, put a little, one of those little eye hooks in here or glue it in there and make you a little jute string and hang it on your little fall tree if you have a fall tree but um it, you can do whatever you want to with it so cute so i'm gonna set him over here and kind of mash on him just a little bit and he'll make a little flat spot um okay so the idea i had a minute ago just y'all i get so excited with this stuff i'm telling you I'll make all kinds of stuff. A ghost. Yes, this is a ghost right here. Yes, he's a ghost. Look, his little ruffled up little, <laughs> his, little bo his little bottom part. So I was going to try down the large jar. There's a rib. Looks like a pumpkin. It will, Lori. You won't see the ribs once you cover it, but um, unless you got it really, really thin. All right, I'm going to try something. I don't know how it's going to work well or not, but I just had a thought. Um, so my thought is, and it, it's going to be hard to make this happen because I don't want to mash it in the process. 
What if we made a pumpkin, a round one, and then we split it so it had a flat back, and then you could put a magnet on it and put it on your refrigerator. But when you go to cut it, I'm scared it's going to mash the pumpkin. <laughs> Bam. I just love doing it. I just think it's so much fun just to see what I can make. And I had the best time sitting here yesterday making pumpkins and Dorothy was watching me. I was like, do you want to make one? She goes, yes, I want to make one. So then she started making pumpkins. I was like, see, it's fun. Um, okay, so I'm going to try. So there's the, the flat part. My little, the bottom. And this is kind of small and it might be easier with a bigger one. I don't know. Um, make half a pumpkin. Okay. Oh, cut it with fishing line. Okay, so what if I got my little ball? What if I just made the flat spot on the back? See, I don't know. Because I'm scared when I cut it, it's going to, y'all know, it's going to mash. Let's see if I can make a half. So, see, there's my flat back. So we're see, we're seeing, and that's the whole fun of this, y'all. It's just to sit here and play with play with the clay and see what you can come up with, and you might surprise yourself. Um, mistake. <laughs> I have a st yeah, see, <laughs> you never know what you're gonna use it for. Uh, Patricia, I have never, but I know that you can. People use the polymer clay a lot to make earrings with. Some people get fancy with it. Okay. So I'm trying to, not, for it not to be a square. See if we can make a half. All right, but I'm trying to keep it flat on the bottom. So here's my back. There's the bottom. So I've got that, but it's, it's only half. See, because I'm thinking cutting it is going to be too, too much, um, it's going to like mash it when I go to put pressure on it. It's going to mash it. So then you just take this again. This is going to be really cute though. Oh, that one. See, I messed up on my little line there. So I'm just going to wet my finger and, and rub it right back out. You can still see a little bit, but it's okay. And I about went the same path the, same, the second time. Okay. Put some more on here. All right. So there's my half a pumpkin. So see, it's only, it's only half. I'm running out of stems. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take my stem. Look how cute this is. And you could definitely either glue this to like a frame. So he's, he's half. Isn't that cool? So you could, like when this dries, you could paint it. You could glue this on a picture frame. You could put a magnet on the back. Y'all, you could use it on a sign if you wanted to make a little sign, like a pumpkin patch sign and have a whole bunch of half ones. Hey, Shawnee. Um... But how stinking cute is this? My stem, okay. So he's flat on the back. So he'll just sit here on my table and he'll just dry and do his little thing. It's gonna be flat. That's gonna be super cool. Oh, Diane, you work with Clay at Christmas. So much fun, y'all. He can make ornaments, cut cookie cutters and make ornaments with this. It's just, y'all. Okay, so now we're going to make the flat one. So, like, I did these because I was thinking we could glue them to a frame. You could put magnets on the back. Oh, there's so much new stuff you could do. Claudia, right? I mean, it's just fun to sit here and think of, okay, well, let's see if we can do this. Can we make this? Okay, so I just took, I'm going to take a little bit off of here. Um, it's like working with Play-Doh. <laughs> Wasn't it fun? Can't y'all smell the Play-Doh? I can smell Play-Doh. <laughs> I like the way it smells. Okay, so um, Tracy ordered off Amazon. I know it may be a little more, but then save you in gas and driving. Um, so like, just make a little ball. Where's my, you can mash it with your hand, but 
I'm just gonna kind of mash it flat. This might be better because I'm gonna get, it's gonna be kind of smooth. Y'all look what I found today that works great, really great with this. Cause this is glass, my table's glass. My Cricut spatula, look. I'm making cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making cookies with my spatula. Okay, so this one's gonna be kind of fat, squatty, round pumpkin. Like this. Um, <laughs> Y'all like my little, I just spatula right off. It's nine something on Amazon. That's not too bad. I mean, it would save you in gas if you had to drive an hour. Um, okay, so, <laughs> Y'all are laughing. The, um, these ridges, the ones that are going out instead of in, I literally took my fingers and mashed my fingers into the clay. Let me get my spatula. And so it leaves little marks like that. So then I just kind of accented them by trying to pull them, pull them up a little bit. Just kind of pinching it and making it make a peak with it. And I've got fingernail marks all over the place, so I have to get rid of those. And that's going to make your little... Stop it. Your little ridges... Let me make this a little bit better. Now... So see, it's got like, it's got like little ridges in it. <laughs> That's the best way I knew how to do it. <laughs> so it has my fingerprints in it. Um, no, I smooth them back out. Okay, so now I'm gonna figure out how, I gotta find a little bitty, here's a stem right here. A little bitty stem, cause you're, if your clay is too thin, you're not gonna be able to stick Stick your stem in it. Um, but I just basically, let me turn it to the side. Just stuck it in like that. So see, there's the back. And then this is the front. And there's my little stem. You see it? And then basically, I just kind of set it here to dry. Which I put, a, I put it in front of my little fan. I have a little, I have this little fan right here. And I just kind of set them in front of that because I knew I was going to play with it tonight, the pumpkins, and try to paint them. So I needed them to be dry. And since it's thin, it's going to take, it's not going to take as long. But there's my stem and my little pumpkin. And he'll just sit on the table and dry. And like, if you let this dry overnight, like tonight or whatever, then the next morning you need to flip it because that side will still be wet. So you try to need to let it dry and then dry on the other side. Um... Yes, you could use toothpicks, Rhonda. That's a good idea. Or you could use, like, you know, shish kebab sticks or something like that. But everybody's got sticks in your yard somewhere. <laughs> Bushes, anything like that. So there's that little pumpkin. And so that's what this one looked like. See, he's super thin. So let me set it over here. And this one I did the same way. But then I just took my little tool and I just drew the lines instead of you know, making them peak up. They were the opposite. So, yes. Yeah, so, that's how I did that. See, there's a little stem. And it's in there, y'all. It's not, I mean, it's it's not coming out. But I see how thin it is? And my little stick is a little bitty. So cute. Okay. Ghost are the same way. Here's my ghost. So, see, I just kind of peaked that up a little bit. This one's got more. But I just made a ghost shape. And he's super, you know, he's thin. But then down here, I just kind of made little peaks and I took, see all those lines in it? I just took this tool and I just made lines all in it to make it look like a little wrinkled sheet like that. So now all I got to do is I got to paint it white, which it already is white, but it'll look better painted. And then paint some dots on it for his eyes and he's good. So see, I just kind of put my fingers and made like a little valley there and that peaked you know peaked up a little bit and then i just kind of took my fingers and kind of made the peaks and they look 
like little pleats in his little sheet. <laughs> pleats in his sheet. <laughs> so I have like a whole little ghosty family. <laughs> um, the ghosts are cute. I'll probably paint a cute little face on them. Um, but I want to do something with the ghost, though. I got a, I got a plan for them. Well, for one of them. Um, pearl paint. Yes, that white. Ooh, white pearl paint. Do I have some of that? Yes, I do on the table. Pearl. Pearl white craft smart pearl. Yes, that'd be so pretty. Oh, you love the ghost, Donna? You're from Biloxi. You're a Mississippian like me. So I'm getting all this clay off my hands. Because it dries on your hands and you have it stuck to you. Kind of like playing with Play-Doh almost. Can't wait to see them painting. Well, we're going to paint some, Jody. I'm going to paint the dried ones. Um, and the acorn. And still have some clay left. going to fold it up. Because it will start drying out if you don't. Okay. So here's all my, <laughs> my little... Oh, we didn't do him. Oh. Oh, gotta make another ghost. Forgot, got my hands clean and forgot about the ghost. But y'all, he's very simple. Um, uh, Jane, I did not on these. Um, you can you can take aluminum foil and make your base. Which we'll just we'll just do that, so y'all can see it both ways. Um, this one is solid clay, but he's not really big, so I just went ahead and left him solid. But like Jane's asking with my gnomes, hold on, let me see, let me get this gnome and I'll show you the gnome. Now the gnomes that I make are, they are aluminum foil in the center. Now this is the one that Deidre made. Um, so yeah, this one's special to my heart because um, it has her fingerprints in it. So that's her gnome that she made. But I have videos, I've done this twice I think on a live. And they're super fun, but I do make the base out of aluminum foil, and then I coat the whole thing with clay, and the rib, make the little rib for his hat, and they're so cute. Y'all, I love him. Um, I'm going to put him back here, because I don't want him to, anything to happen to him. I buy the Dollar Tree foil, super cheap. Um, don't use your expensive $10 roll foil in your, in, in your kitchen. <laughs> um can use that ghost on my painting. Tracy, yes, I want to do the spooky painting so bad, um, but I'm going to do a little something different. Um, okay, so I'm just making, we're going to make a base just like we would for the gnome. Since somebody mentioned it, we'll do it that way. So you just kind of take your full and just keep adding to it and making you a a ghost, a ghostly shape. Okay. Dollar Tree Fall is good for this. Yes, that's what this is. Dollar Tree. Because aluminum foil is expensive, guys. But this is it's Dollar Tree. It's real thin. And that's what I use. I keep this in my box with my air dry clay. So if I need it, I have it. Okay. And you can mold it how you want it to be. But now this guy... And this guy, they are solid clay. Um, so I just did them because they're small. Okay. So, there's my base, ba basically. That's my little base. And then, we're going to take our clay and my little rolly pen. Oh, I'm going to fall in bulk. Kaylee, we did this last time. We bought a big thing of it from uh, Sam's. And it will last a very long time. And it's actually better in price for you if you do it that way. Yeah, the thinner, I think the thinner foil molds better anyway. Yes, I do. I do think that. Um, so, I'm just going to roll this out with my super, super fancy uh, rolling pin that I have. And I usually get my clay about like this. About, I don't know how big that is, thick. But you'll know because if you do it wrong, if you do it wrong, you'll, your fall is going to break through. Your, um, 
your foil will start breaking through and you'll be like, oh, that's too thin. So you just cover it. And actually, since it's a ghost, <laughs> we could make a cute little ghost like this. We could just let him dry, <laughs> but I'm not. Okay, so of course this is way too much clay and that's okay. I'm just gonna start taking some away. All right, so now you have like this. And then you have to get these little seams married together. And that's not hard to do. He's got horns now. I've been, made him a horn. You can make arms, you can get all fancy. Um, but like, see how it looks all, where I've got to marry that together? And you just get your fingers wet and start trying to smooth out those little lines and the bumps and all that stuff. Same with the other side. I got this big old hunk of clay here. I got to get smoothed out. And this is a good way to, to, to save your clay is to have something in the center. You can do the pumpkins the same way. They're just easy to roll in a ball like that. And you know, you just have a ball. <laughs> That's easy. Covering it is a little more difficult when you have something round. Y'all know that. It's not, it's not real easy when it's round. But if you just keep smoothing and smoothing and smoothing with a little water, um, you'll get it all smooth eventually. Just keep working with it. Because, you know, a sheet's going to look all um, kind of Hey, Gail. Kind of weird anyway. All right. So, see, I have that much left between the clay and my base. So, I'm just going to see if I can get it to puddle out just like a real ghost would be. And then I'm just going to... All I did was to make, him, to make it look ruffled. I just took it, I kind of smoothed out my edges a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see. And then I just took my finger and kind of did like this to where the clay kind of, the lip of the clay just kind of goes up like that. And yes, his bottom is not covered, but we can fix that. Um, <laughs> Kathy, I'm just over here playing like I'm a little kid with some Play-Doh. And you can cover the bottom, which I probably needed to do anyway. So you won't have aluminum foil on the bottom. Let me do that first. Then I'm going to have to... So I forgot about that. I think I did ghost. I did a ghost a couple years ago. Um, I think I did. I think I did some ghosts with y'all. I don't know. Cause I know I have some in my Halloween collection, my ghost collection. My whole tear tray was ghost one time. Little cute little ghost. All right, now I'm gonna smooth this back out. And it's really gonna stick to this glass table cause it's wet. All right. Okay, so then I'm just gonna get him unstuck from the table. So see, he's got this, how it's just like a little, it's puddled like a little ghost. But then I'm just going to take my fingers and just kind of go around and kind of flip that up a little bit. And it's going to give it that little ruffled effect to look like this. So see, he's going to look like a little ghost once he dries and we get him painted. He's going to look super cute like a little ghost. So he's so easy, y'all. But that was with the aluminum foil on the inside. You can make him, this is solid. I didn't use aluminum foil on this one. Yes, they're clay. They are, my whole wrapper is <laughs> contorted now. This is what I use. Wow, it's been a long time I've watched you. Oh, wow, you're just now finding me again. Yay, welcome back. Okay, so now I'll just sit over here and let this little guy dry. And when he dries tomorrow, he can get painted. 
<laughs> Bam, right? It's just everything. Um, you just want to do it all. And that's how I feel. Because um, I don't get to sit here and craft all the time. But I just craft with y'all mostly until I have to make something ahead of time. Now yeah, I'm all nasty again. Um, the pumpkin lantern. I know, isn't he cute? Let me get him out again so y'all can see. He's so cool. Something that you would throw away to that. Let me get that back on straight. So cute. So cool. Um, and I have a bunch more smaller ones. I just need to find. They're in my decor probably. Um, okay. Now, we got to paint. Speaking of paint. Hey, Darcell. Love him. Stem. <laughs> Stem something. <laughs> Three days or longer because it's very humid. Yeah, it depending on where you live, how humid it is. My earrings are all doing weird stuff. Um, how it's going to dry. Mine are just in here and we have air conditioning. So I don't, I know some places like Mandy was trying to tell me about in Colorado, what kind of, what kind of air they have there. And it's like swamp coolers or something. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> because I don't know what that is. Like we have air conditioner. So mine sits in here under a fan. Um, hey Glenda. Okay. <sighs> trying to think. I'm sweating. <laughs> We're going to paint them now. But I'm going to show y'all something really cool first because I want to do this first because I want to let it set up so I can show you while we're painting. Um, so let me show y'all my idea with the little ghost, with the flat ghost. I'll say this little guy right here, I'm going to use him. And I'm going to show you the best part last. Okay, so this little frame is from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put some cool paper in the background okay y'all with me this this marry this together okay and i saw i saw a tiktok of the crafty guys co i don't know if y'all watch them i saw his tiktok and he painted a little ghost in a frame i don't know if y'all saw it um but i saw it on tiktok i just happened to, he just come up on my feet and i was like oh my gosh that's the crafty guys and he had a little wood frame but i'm gonna make a frame like this this is hot glue. This is from Amazon. Okay. So I'm going to let it sit here and set up while we're painting. Um, this is one I had made a while back when I first got my molds from Amazon. Like a while back. Now this does take a lot of hot glue. This, this one's almost done. And this is my cheaper glue. Um... And I'm going to put the little ghost paper frame frame and he's going to be in the middle. Because <laughs> when I saw his, um, I was like, oh my gosh, that is the cutest thing ever. Now this takes a lot of glue, but this little mold I got on Amazon when everybody started filling up like these molds full of hot glue and making stuff with them, I was like, oh my goodness. So I got on Amazon and I'm sure Timu has them too. Um, they are, Tina, they are like silicone. So they'll take the heat from the hot glue, but the glue will just settle into all of those little, um, there's like little grooves and crevices and in this little mold. It's made for fondant is what it's made for. Um, one thing about doing this is you kind of have to let the heat of the glue catch up with you because you can go faster than the glue can heat up. So it's like I have to do half and then I'll have to sit here and let my, let the glue gun get, you know, the glue get hot. Like now it's wanting to stop on me. But see, I filled it up with glue over here, but see, it's got all these little designs in that mold and that glue will settle down in there. And you probably can't see it here, but y'all see it's got like all those little designs. 
and I'm gonna paint this and we're gonna make a cute little frame. But I'm gonna let this set for a second and then we'll start filling it up some more. Um, I don't know if these are in my Amazon store, but you can look up fondant molds and this one's like a frame and I also have a round one. See how cool that is? <laughs> It's just so much fun. Um, but I played with them when I first got them, like last year, and I haven't ever done anything with them. Um, they're fondant molds. So go to Amazon, you can type in silicone, silicone fondant, like the fondant they put on cakes, mold. How you would get fondant down in those little holes, I have no idea. But the hot glue works awesome. Okay, so let me get my, we're gonna paint some pumpkins. Paint some pumpkins. Now, let's see. I'm gonna paint some. So I, I was thinking about that because I saw the craft that he did and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. What if I used my little ghost, like a little 3D ghost? It'd be so cute. Okay, I'm gonna have to be careful not to pick up the ones that are wet. <laughs> um. Yes, you can use the air dry clay. Y'all, I just don't know how. I would get the clay and look at all those little bitty details. There is no way I would, it would, I would, it'd be a mess if I tried it. Yeah. The oval would look cute with the ghost, but he's bigger than he, he's way bigger. Wait, he's bigger than the, see, he's too big. Actually, that's what I wanted to do with him. Now he's got orange paint on him. Don't know how this happened. I got orange paint over here. Glow in the dark. Ah, that would be super cool. Y'all, look at how cute these are going to be. This is spiced pumpkin. Spice. I've been telling y'all it's spiced carrot this whole time. Spiced pumpkin. Spiced carrot. Ah. Oh, Donna, yes. You could stack three pumpkins and make a little topiary. Stop it. So cute. And you could put them in a little pot. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I didn't even think of that. See? Y'all are awesome. Hey, Laurie, you're okay. We're just doing some more clay. You're okay. We're doing some more clay. Y'all didn't know I was a poet, right? <laughs> All right. And yes, it probably would be easier to do this without the stems, but... I'm just making it work. Look how cute my little punky's gonna be. Little punky, little, I should have made a square one and called him Spookly. Dang it, I should have. He would be cute all square. Be sure to brush your mold with cornstarch. Yes, if you use a clay, be sure to use it with cornstarch. But with a hot glue, it'll come right on out. That's why I wanted to show y'all. That's why I'm trying to fill it up but it takes a minute because you have to let the glue gun catch up with you because you're you're pushing that glue out so fast, it doesn't have time to heat it up. Oh, y'all, my stem has went down in my pumpkin. Okay. Ain't it cute? Okay, let me set him over there, let him dry. Sp little Spookly or Spookly Junior, yes into his face. Did I not? There we go. I can see him. Yes, candy mold, silicone molds. Um, I know Hobby Lobby has some and they go on sale at times. All right, come on. I don't know if it's because I'm transitioning between two different glue sticks, but it does take a lot of glue. Come on, what is the problem? What is the going on? Still plugged in, I don't know what it's doing. It's not wanting to. It's like it won't push the glue, down, the glue stick down. Maybe it just needs to heat up some more, I don't know. All right, let's see. Moles at Hobby Lobby go and sell every other week. Oh, that's good to know, Diana, because um, I have like 
some, I have a couple letter from Hobby Lobby. All right, I'm not even gonna change my paint. I'm just gonna go, this is the burnt orange that we used on him the other night. His, his little stem's gonna come out and I'll glue it back in. We gotta do one with cinnamon. I'm gonna put cinnamon all over one and see what that looks like. But that's interesting. Somebody said the um, cinnamon applesauce. What was it? Somebody said a minute ago, cinnamon applesauce and something else. And they made pumpkins with it. Or like little pumpkins or big pumpkins or that sounds interesting combination applesauce yeah cake decorating um store i don't know if joann's has any of that i know hobby lobby does because i have bought some of theirs but look how these are going to be adorable and that's a little bit more burnt orange than it looks in the camera Stuff look, some stuff looks different on the camera than it does. Like when I get close, it gets really bright. But it's, it's like a burnt orange color. You get down in the, where the stem is, and here's his stem. I can't lose his stem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm just going to do a whole bunch of oranges. <laughs> this is... Um, Terra, is this terra? Toasted terracotta, sorry. Toasted terracotta, it looks the same color as that. That looks the same color when it comes out of the bottle. Maybe I need to put something with it. Cinnamon stick. A cinnamon mixture and made adorable projects. Oh, Elmer's glue, applesauce. So what's the applesauce do? I don't, I mean, do you have to have that? sauce is it like some kind of a thickening agent or something um so i put cinnamon stick in there with it so we'll see that's the stem i glued in i'm just curious about the applesauce that's that's tr intriguing about the applesauce i know the cinnamon's going to smell good but it seems like would it attract ants because applesauce is kind of sweet. I don't know. See, that's a little darker. It doesn't look darker on the camera. Huh. I'm just scared it would try ants. All right. I'm putting some... This is nutmeg. I'm going to put nutmeg in there. Try to make it a little more... There we go. A little more brown. That don't look different in the camera. And it's weird in the camera. It looks, it looks a lot brighter on the phone. Applesauce for apple cinnamon smell. Okay. But it wouldn't, I don't know. I'm worried. I'd be worried it tracked an ants or something. I mean, maybe I'm overthinking it, but. Maybe if the glue is the deterrent or something. But it would smell good. This is, I'm getting this all over me. I promise y'all, it looks a little bit more toned down than it does in that camera. Two staples for, oh, clothes. Okay, I missed that. I'm gonna have to, um, Go back and see what that said. Y'all know I gotta have some. That's not it. That's not it. Golden sunset. I couldn't get king's gold. King's gold is what I was hunting. But I couldn't get to it. Christmas. Okay, that's cool. So you still have them. So it does work really good. Stuffed with fiber fuel. Oh, y'all talking about something else. I'm like, fiber fuel? What? All right, let's see if, oh, something is going on with my glue gun, and I don't know what it is. There we go. So I'm just going to fill it up with some glue. It, it, whatever the little bump was, the problem, it's fixed now. So 
So I'm filling up the rest of this mold so I can show y'all. But y'all see how fast this glue stick's gonna go down? It takes a lot of glue to fill this one up. But it's so worth it. Okay, now I gotta wait again until it gets hot. But y'all can see I've got most of it filled except for like this part and some of that. So cool. Okay, I'll let that dry. Maybe I need to get a new paintbrush for this color. I don't want any orange in it. So let's paint our little skinny one. Uh, I just had my fingers on this paintbrush and I don't know. There it is. This is Golden Sunset. Um, <laughs> Tracy's like, I guess I order a case of clay. I got pumpkins and acorns and ghosts and... You're gonna get happy with the ghost and the pumpkins because these little guys are so stinking cute to sit here and paint and then kind of, we'll kind of embellish them. Y'all got, y'all hadn't seen the cutest part yet that I made for these little pumpkins and bet you can't guess what it is. I made a miniature version. Y'all just wait. It's so cute. They look how cute. Oh my gosh. Y'all just wait. I'm multitasking, Bev. Got to. I got to. Because this takes a while to cool, y'all. It's so big and thick of glue. It takes a long time for it to actually get to temperature where you can pull it out of the mold. Um, I just love miniatures. I don't know if I've told y'all that one time or 500 times. I love anything that's, you know, miniature. Um, just kind of like when you get little, little baby shoes and you got Nikes and they're this big. They're stinking adorable. <laughs> um, look how cute. Nope, Bev, it's not a crow. Jane, you know I got some metallic copper, girl. You just wait. It's coming. I'm going to get that out, too. I got some over here. We're going to paint one copper. What color paint is a yellow gold? I usually use king's gold. I love that color in apple barrel. And this is called golden sunset. It's a little bit of an earthier tone than the, than the King's Gold, but I love King's Gold. Uh, it's not really close to me. It's down the way a little bit, but those two colors are really pretty for fall. I love them. Okay. Get all this. I'm, I'm all covered in orange paint. Here comes the copper. Okay. No, it's not glasses, and no, it's not a wagon, but I'm going to show y'all what it is. Wait. <laughs> it, it's little bitty tendrils. They're like tiny. Where's my other ones? Where's the regular size ones? Hold on. Oh, here they are. Okay. These are the regular size tendrils. Here's the baby ones. Look. <laughs> I made baby tendrils. <laughs> For my baby pumpkins. Aren't they sweet? I got orange paint all over my fingers. Look how cute they are. <laughs> bitty, bitty baby ones. And then this is the regular size. And you know what I used? This. So I took the saran wrap and I wrapped my shish kebab stick. And I put my jute, wherever it is. Here it is. My jute. It's like thin. It's kind of thin jute. And I just wrapped it around the shish kebab stick and I let it dry and I did this this, af this afternoon um and I let it dry and I made a whole bunch of little baby tendrils <laughs> I was like oh I gotta have baby tendrils on my pumpkins they're gonna be cute okay so um where was I going oh copper <laughs> I got beside myself but isn't it cute to make little tiny um Little tiny tendrils. I can't can't help it, y'all. It's just adorable. I don't care what anybody says. I'd sit here and make just pumpkins, just little pumpkins, and I would have forty five pumpkins. <laughs> I'd be giving them away to people that come in my house. I did, Brenda. I'd soaked the jute in my Mod Podge, which is sitting right here, and I wrapped it around. I missed that part, didn't I? I wrapped it around the shish kebab stick with the um, saran wrap on it, and I let it dry. See, there's my pretty copper. 
Yeah, so I did soak it. I did, I left that part out. I was just excited. I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all look, oh, this is so pretty. This is one of my favorite colors. And you really get to bring it out in fall because it is beautimous. My copper pumpkin. And Dorothy's going to come in and say, I think that one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> After I get it painted, what is stuck to my, something stuck to it. Probably hot glue. There's no, no telling. See, his little, the tendrils. Okay, Nancy, you get a dowel. So like this, let's say this is a dowel, but I did use this for the tiny ones. And you're going to roll it in like a, just one layer of saran wrap. Okay. And you might have to tape it in place on the ends because it may want to slide up and down the dowel. Okay, then you're going to take your jute and you are going to put some Mod Podge like in a little bitty cup. Just, I mean, you're just going to put like a little teaspoon, if that much. And your, your enthusiasm makes me smile. Yes, so sweet to hear. Um, but uh, I just get excited because I want to show y'all so bad. Um, but you put a little bit of Mod Podge in there, and you take your jute, cut you a piece, you know, like this, and then you wad it all up and put it in your Mod Podge and kind of give it a bath in the Mod Podge, and then you take it out, and I usually run my finger down it to get most of it off. You don't want it, like, dripping, but you want it saturated, and then you're going to wrap it all the way down. You try not to let the little, your sections touch, but you wrap it all the way down your dowel, and then I use these. And I clip it to hold the ends or whatever you have. And then I set it and let it dry. Like I set this in front of my little fan today and it dried. It'll dry within an hour. It doesn't take long at all. And um, then you just have to pull it, the saran wrap and everything off of the dowel. And then pull the saran wrap away from your, um, the tendrils. And then just throw it away. Sometimes it'll come right off of, this, of the saran wrap. But that's so it won't stick to your wood dowel. Or you can do it on a pen or a magic marker. Whatever you have that's round, it'd work. But you can make them different sizes, obviously, because I made some itty-bitty ones. <laughs> okay. There's Mr. Copper. Isn't he pretty? So, see the difference? This is orange, and then you got your shiny copper. So pretty. <laughs> he would love to craft with me. Girl, I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place most of the time if I get on a roll about stuff. Look at my earrings. They're like my sunflowers are flying backwards. Okay, have I painted all of them except for the acorn? Here's my acorn. And, y'all, I didn't put cinnamon on one. I think maybe we'll put cinnamon on this one, maybe. I've got big globs of clay. Or maybe we'll put it on him. He's dry, so I think I'm going to put... Um, let's paint him with Mod Podge. Y'all, I'm just playing, and I am just... We did, I did that when we did rabbits during Easter. I can't remember what we're talking about for that. I'm lost on that one. Yeah, I love the copper too. I am excited about them because y'all made these. There was a block of clay today earlier and now they're, now it's baby pumpkins that are stinking adorable. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm just going to paint this one. With some Mod Podge, I guess. I'm going to try it. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'm going to put cinnamon on them. And this is Dollar Tree Cinnamon. Um, <laughs> you're having so much fun watching. So I'm going to actually do it over the trash can just because I don't have any another plate. See if I can get it to stick. So he's kind of dusty. Dusty, crusty, dusty. Let's see what we can get it to look like. So y'all know, do I want to do that or not? Or do I just want to paint them? <laughs> so I can do it before you do it so you'll know. Now my, my trash can smells like cinnamon now. <laughs> oh, you have, 
Yeah, I bet they wasn't cheap. You, I know what you're talking about. They're like little resin, little pumpkins and stuff. And, but y'all, for, what's the clay on sale? Seven, seven seventy nine or something? For seven seventy nine, and some paint that you, I know that you already have. Look what fun it is. You can have your whole own baby pumpkin patch. <sighs> All right, one more side. I don't have enough Mod Podge. So cute and just fun and stems are free. Right. One last side. Okay. Probably gonna have to do where my fingers are because there's none at the top. Let's do that. I would do it over a plate normally and I would catch what I didn't use and I'd put it back in there but I don't have any room on my table okay so there he is he's all cinnamoned up and I'll probably go back over it once it dries um oh, okay I guess I'm done painting pumpkins for right now. I guess I'm put those in my water and that one in my water before I forget and they dry up. Grandma Lee's pumpkin patch. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Stafford and tell him he started something with my Grandma Lee. Um, okay, so let's do the acorn. And I think, nope, not that color. Let's do my acorn. This is Rich Espresso. Um, it's a brown metallic. We used this for acorns, what, last year, year before? And it's really pretty, it's really pretty metallic brown. Um, it's beautiful color. I just like to break out the metallics. We hadn't even done the ghost yet. What time is it? Oh, it's 9.07. Okay. Not that it matters. I have nowhere to go. But, thank y'all for hanging in there with me and just having a good time. I'm just showing you how much fun it can be because it's, it's fun. Because you can just sit here and make all these little critters and, peep and pumpkins and have the best old time. And you're just so excited about your baby pumpkins. <laughs> If y'all want me to get real excited, I can put faces on them and, and they'll all have personalities and I'll have them all named and I'll have a whole life story for all of them. If y'all give me just a few minutes, I would do that. <laughs> if you were here when we made uh, all the pom-pom critters, was it last Easter? We made all the critters and they all had names and, and uh, they had personalities and they had a life story. And I yeah, I can do that. Yeah, the metallic does, look. Isn't that pretty? And I just made that little... <laughs> I hope y'all caught that. <laughs> and this is what happens. Number one, it's not dry all the way through. <laughs> but number two... um. When I haven't, they're not all the way together together. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Give me some hot glue. I can fix anything. <laughs> it was pretty, Tammy said. <laughs> oh, my clay, my... What is happening? Come on now. See, it's, it's really not dry all the way. Through. See how it's not dry? You can tell it's a funny color. Um, but I'm, I'm just, I'm going to fix it. So let yours dry really good before you do this. <laughs> Surprise! My acorn cap came off. <laughs> that was priceless. And it's not going to stick because it's wet. Look, I'm I'm fixing it. Y'all don't even know. Nobody saw that happen. <laughs> I got glue strings. 
spider webs on my acorn. He was really pretty for a hot minute. <laughs> He's going to be. He's going to be fixed and y'all aren't ever going to know. See? Now he has a really big crack in between there, but look how pretty he is. See? It's all fixed. I got a little, um, he looks gold, but he's, he's bright. It's rich espresso, but look how pretty he is. He's all fixed. Hey, Dorothy, I says, Dorothy Woods is watching. Dorothy, look at my pumpkins I painted. See? One of them's yours somewhere. Look. But I fixed it. But it honestly, it wasn't dry in the center because it's so thick. But so let yours dry really good. Oh, no, it's doing it, Debbie. I'm so sorry. Look how pretty he is. So I can't paint the other one because he's wet. But so we went from, from this to this. Y'all. If that was in Hobby Lobby, just sit, you know, a few of them together, how much would that be? And it's just a ball of clay. Okay. Do the top with that color and the bottom. Your wish is my command. I'm just going to, I'm using the same paintbrush I had the copper on, and I'm just going to kind of brush it over it. I'm just, so it's, you can still see that gold color coming through, but that copper, yeah, that's a good idea. See? Y'all are just helpful bunch of people. Look how pretty this is. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to dry it so I can lay it down. I just hope I don't melt that glue and it fall apart. <laughs> there he is. He's so pretty. I'm so funny. Carla, I can get on one now and I'll, it'll, I'll get tickled and all that, but it's just funny. Some things are just funny. All right, I got to put this little... Hmm. I'm itching to do something here. It's brown. Put some of this brown. And you could do this with wax, but I'm just using brown paint. And I'm gonna wipe it over my little pumpkin here, the copper, and I'm trying to get it in those cracks to give it a little bit more definition and it's working well let's see so see i just got enough in the little cracks and stuff to where you can see those little cracks after hours <laughs> you're funny bev y'all are funny funny grandma lee <laughs> i'm so ready for that little stinker to be here Cannot wait. She's going to be spoiled, spoiled, rotten. If I have anything to say about it, she's going to be rotten. Now I can't find the stem. Oh, there it is. There's his little stem. I'm going to put it in here. Seal the ornaments and they'll la the smell will last. That's cool to know. Well, I definitely, we might have to do the applesauce ornaments at Christmas. I'm going to have to try that. Definitely try it. See, look how pretty he is with just that brown that's going to dry in those little cracks. Now I want to try it with this one. i got to do the ghost. Thank y'all for hanging in there with me. I know we've just been on here for a long, long time. But this is just fun. You need to go to bed, Nancy. I understand. Go get you some beauty sleep. I get it. I'm just going to put some in here. In these little try to put them in there put some paint in the cracks of my pumpkins and just give them that little bit of dimension y'all know what I'm trying to do I'm trying to get it in those little ribs I guess that looks kind of yank nasty don't it but then when you wipe it off 
it stays in the actual crack and then you wipe it off of the actual clay. See, I kind of wiped a little bit of my yellow off, but look how pretty this looks. It just gives it that aged look. Okay, I know y'all are tired of sitting here watching me paint pumpkins, but I gotta get out my baby tendrils. I'm gonna do the applesauce thing. I'm gonna have to, 16 more days he leave from Mexico. I'm super jealous. That sounds like fun. Um, I love the yellow too. That color is so pretty. All right, so here's my, my little baby tendrils. <laughs> gonna see how it's gonna look on my baby pumpkins okay let's see put don't take much glue because it's tiny 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 babyest little tendrils you ever did see. Look at it. So cute. You know how many tendrils I can get out of that? A bunch. A whole bunch. So cute. Daytona Beach. That sounds nice too. Done went on all my vacays for the year, I think. Till the baby comes because I'm waiting for this grandbaby to come. I'm ready, ready, ready. Because I just keep buying stuff. I, I, that's probably not ever going to end. Isn't that the perfect size? Look at that. So cute. And see, I still have this one. And then the cinnamon one. And I have the bright orange one. So I got all those. So now I'm going to paint my ghost. We may have to do our frame another night, y'all. We've been on here forever. I'm going to paint it this color. Oh, look, I'm multitasking again. I'm gonna fill this up. Y'all see this glue stick is going down to nothing. Now I gotta wait again. All right, this is White Pearl. White Pearl. By Michaels, Craftsmart. But you can get Pearl. All the different paints really have their own kind of metallic line or whatever. Okay. I got some brown. He's got some brown on him now. There's no telling. Okay, so this is the little baby one. So it just looks like a white lump of clay. Nothing special. Nothing cute about it. It's just looks like a little hunk of clay. Until you paint him and he gets eyeballs. When he gets eyeballs, he's going to be the cutest thing you ever did see. Something about putting eyes on them, just, just, it makes them come alive and they look just so stinking adorable. Okay, so that's, y'all can't really tell, but it is metallic. I love working with it too, I'm telling you. It's, if you don't have something, you can always make it. Or at least give it a good shot. <laughs> okay. Oh, Laura, you're so sweet. That is the most precious thing to say. That is so sweet. And I try, and that's why I love to come on here live, and I love to show y'all different things, because I get so excited about stuff. It's like, oh my gosh, look what I made. I got to show y'all. This is the cutest thing ever, and I just want to show y'all how to do it, too, so you can get excited, and you can get your grandkids excited, or your neighbor excited, or whoever, about crafting and getting... Um, just being creative and like saying, I made this. It may just be a little lump of clay to you, but I made it. And it's adorable, especially when you see what I'm going to do with him. Oh, y'all are sweet, Wendy. Y'all are so sweet. All right. So he is real pretty metallic. I don't know. Y'all really can't see, but he has like a sheen to it. It's gorgeous. Okay. So that paint is really, really pretty. Now I got to paint him some eyeballs. And that's when he's going to come to life like Frosty. Um, Frosty the snowman, he came to life one day. 
So Norma Jean, I saw something about a, a, a god something. Maybe a grandson something. I missed it. I made little pumpkins this year when you made the gnomes. Norma, I know you just, and pumpkins are easy, y'all. Pumpkins are probably the easiest thing to make. This earring is doing something weird. Oh, Judy, you're so sweet. Okay, so here he is. He's all plain Jane. Nothing you think. What is that? It's just a wad of clay. And then he gets eyeballs. And my friend Shaney that I'm going to the Taylor Swift concert with next year, she loves ghosts. Like, she loves them. And so she is all about some ghosts. And she's going to take this from me when she sees it. <laughs> Cheryl, I hope so. I hope she loves to craft as much as I do. Look at him. Now, we could even get a little more fancier, and he can get a mouth. All right, so now he's got a mouth. I hear my, I hear my dog out there barking at the air. Oh, Lee, Judy, you're so sweet. I was reading and trying to look at the same time. I'm going to use this little, this little tippy thing and put some paint on him. My ghost is going to have eyebrows. Because he's my ghost and I can paint him how I want to. And he's going to have eyebrows. It just gives them that little, that little look. I don't know. It's so much fun. I'm going to take a bath, y'all, when I get done. <laughs> if y'all ever see me and I got paint on my hands, just know that it's just part of my outfit. Donna, yes, um, next year. Ne in 2024, at October next year. Um, my friend Shaney's daughter got us tickets today. Um. She had a code to be able to get the tickets because everybody, not everybody can, was able to get them. You had to, it's kind of like a lottery. They drew names, drew numbers or whatever. Put a sparkle in his eye. Okay, I can put a sparkle in his eye. <clears throat> oh, that is not white paint, Lee. That is Mod Podge. Oh, Barbara, you're sweet. Y'all are so sweet to me. I'm telling y'all the best people ever. And I just never knew when I started this how it was going to be. I just, I really didn't. I really didn't know I was going to be this blessed. Okay, now he's got little dots in his eyes. Where's my wipe? I'll wipe that off. I'll put that back. He's got odd dots. Oh, she hadn't gotten her code. Yeah, the tickets, New Orleans went on sale today at 11 for Friday, 1.30 for Saturday, and 3.30 or 3 for Sunday. So, she got us four tickets, and I'm one of the lucky four that it gets to go. Um, filling up my mold, y'all. Blue stick. Oh, I'm going to put my other in there because by the time I finish this one, Taylor came here and visited with a senior man and he, oh my gosh, that just, she does stuff like that and nobody ever hears about it. And she is, she does, she does a lot for the community and gives back to people and it's just, it's amazing because I know a little bit of the stuff she does, but it's just amazing that she's that famous and that much of a superstar and she still does stuff like that. Oh, Bev, you're so sweet. Okay, so there he is. He's super cute. So I'm making my my frame and this is what I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm fixing, I'm about to do this. Y'all can stay and I'm gonna sit here and do this. Um, I've never made them with the clay because I don't know if I could get it down in all those little ditty grooves. I just don't know if I could get it in there. Oh, okay. That's so awesome. That's so awesome. Okay. So, let me... So, this is my... I made this a while ago when I first got the molds. And sometimes you have to come in here and, like, trim off. 
you know, little pieces of the glue and, you know, stuff like that and kind of make it pretty. Y'all know what I mean. It's got little tags of glue here and there. And I'm trying not to cut myself. I know y'all are nervous for me. Trust me, I'm trying to be really careful. Hey, Karen. Because of last time when I cut myself. That was not fun, y'all. It hurt really bad. and I played it off like it didn't, but it really hurt bad. Oh, y'all are so sweet. I got in skinny. I'm trying, trying, I'm trying. It's really hard, y'all know. Okay, so this is all hot glue, okay? But y'all see how long this takes to dry because this over here is kind of dry or set up or whatever you want to call it. But you know, once you put your glue in there, I didn't do it, but you kind of want to just kind of do like this to get it to settle in all these little holes. Now, I've already tried this once. And I didn't bring it over here because when I got the mold, I tried this. But this is chalk, chalk paint because I know it'll stick to. Hey, Lynn, you're okay. Um, we've all we've made all kinds of things. We've made little clay pumpkins and acorns and out of clay. So <laughs> you'll have to go back and watch um, the replay because I made some and then I painted the ones I had made already because you know they have to dry. Okay, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put some, I'm just going to paint it with white chalk paint. And my little ghosty, it will fit in there. I didn't put anything in mine, and it worked fine. So you just mash the clay down in there really good, I guess, and it will go. Tracy's like, when I get my whole case of clay, I'm going to make a whole haunted house. <laughs> oh, me and Shani made the haunted houses last year of the little doll houses that Dollar Tree has. Because we kept seeing it on TikTok. And we were like, we're making one of those little haunted houses. And we did. I think I showed it to y'all. Um, okay. So, I'm just... Just kind of getting in all of those little grooves. And I'm and you'll you're gonna be able to see it better once I get it painted. How many of those little grooves and all these little details are in this mold or whatever. Um and it's really cool. But now that I've got it painted, you're gonna be able to see it better than just looking at the hot glue itself. So but I chose the the chalk paint because I think it's gonna adhere to it better. Yeah, I think if you use the clay in the molds, you have to put some kind of cornstarch or something in it so it won't, it'll just come right out. But now the hot glue, mine just came right out. I didn't use any kind of anything. I was so excited when they came, I just got them out of the bag and started putting glue in them. <laughs> That's the truth, too. Dorothy was here the day I did that. She was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. All right. So it's already pretty much trying to dry. All right, I'm gonna just kind of, from a distance, cause I don't want to melt my glue, cause it is hot glue and it will melt back. Um, of this color? Yeah, I love this color of their shirts. Um, Lena, I didn't use a mold. I molded it with my hands. Uh, here is the one that's wet that hasn't dried. But you can watch the whole video and, and I'll show you how I did it. Um, and here's our little pumpkins that are drying. And um, ghost, this ghost is over here drying. I didn't paint him, but these are my ghosts that are dry. But yeah, I don't want to get this too hot because y'all know it'll melt. Watch an Outlander. Same pink mold. Yes. There's the mold. These are Amazon. So I made one of these ahead of time or well, a long time ago. And um, Vikings play in preseason, Claudia said. 
and make sure I got the edges good because you're going to be able to see them. If you get that too hot, you know, it'll melt right back. Uh, I need just a little more. I see some spots. But it's not going to stay white, though. We're going to, like, kind of wax it. So all of those little details are going to come out. But I've got some edges I need to paint and because I want it to look cute and I want it to look good and it be right the first time and it not I don't want to rush through it but I hadn't been on this light in a long time man for this long I guess sometimes it just takes longer to do things okay so I'm gonna hold it up so y'all can see so do you see all those little details now I mean it's really a lot of little ornate little details is it perfect? No, because it's glue, and, you know, I was just playing around that day that I did it. Um, so, oh, here's more. Still see hot glue. Because when I go to wax it or whatever, it's not, the glue is not going to take the paint like that. It hardened before you are finished. Yeah, I just keep adding it because I had to do this half at a time. Or three parts at a time, or a piece at a time, because um, the the you you kind of put the glue out a lot faster than it can heat up the glue, so you have to kind of wait. At least mine, you do. I don't, I can't um, you can't um, do it in too much of a hurry because your glue gun won't get it won't heat up the glue that fast. And it lets you know because it'll just stop putting glue out. And you're like, oh, well, got to wait. Okay. I had to get the inside rim. You can't get this too hot because it'll melt. Okay. So, see? Y'all can see all those little details. It looks like an old frame. It's really cool. So see, here it is. It's setting up over here. So see this one, that's going to be Gorilla Glue. And then this is that my cheaper glue sticks that I have. But it's, I mean, it's cooled off. So I see some right here I need to fix. Because it'll settle and it'll, like bubbles come to the top, I guess. And you'll see little holes that you need to kind of fill. Like here. But for the most part, it's really cool. Okay, so since I'm putting it on black, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this paper, I think. Looks like wallpaper, doesn't it? Um, or I have this. Or I, ha I have all kinds of paper, actually. But this polka dot, I, kinda, I don't know, I kinda like the polka dot. And my frame is black. So it's a Dollar Tree frame. Now, Vicki, I'm not a grandma yet. But it won't be till like the end of October or November. I think I'm going to do the orange. I got to um, open up. This is just a Dollar Tree 5x7. But you do whatever size, you know, you, you want to use. Just a little cheap frame. I don't know why I did that because now I got to do this first. So I'm just gonna take some black paint and we're gonna make this frame look really cute. Lynn, I, I do, um, it's Optavia. Um, I do that some and then and now I'm just really trying to do that a little bit, eat a little better, my portions, watch what I eat, um, kind of deal. Okay, so there's my frame, black acrylic paint. I'm hoping this is gonna work. I don't wanna use the brown because my frame is black, everything is black. Oh yes, y'all, this is going so good. So I kinda wanna do black detail with the white kind of frame. But, uh, y'all, look at this. Do y'all see that? That looks so cool. Um, cause I didn't wanna do brown because everything's black. Um, the trick is you got to put it on and then wipe it right off. 
and use the baby wipe after baby wipe after baby wipe. You're welcome to Emmy. Thank you for being here as always. Thank all of y'all for being here. Um, y'all know I love it when y'all, we craft and just tonight we really made something out of nothing. We made ghosts and pumpkins out of clay that was sitting in a box that had no life to it. Now it's all cool and new. Okay. Something new. Look. Look how neat this looks. It looks spooky, don't it? Okay. So I'm just kind of getting all down in there and then I'm just wiping it back off. So cool. Almost done with it. Just trying to get it in all those little crevices can be challenging too, because those are little bitty crevices. So there's that. See how cool that looks? Y'all saw what it looked like before. It was so just, just plain, and this just makes all those little things stick out, the little um, all those little detailed, ornate little parts. Let's see. And this is hot glue. Just hot glue. Okay. That is so cool. And y'all saw it before. Part of this right here. Take some more of that off. Okay. So stinking cool. Oh my gosh. I just can't. <laughs> All right. I'm throwing that away. Look, I got a whole nother layer of paint on my hands. <laughs> All right. Now the easy part. Cutting the paper. I know it is amazing what you can do. And I'm going to take this out in a minute and I'll have a whole nother one and I'm going to show it to y'all. Let it be sure and get set up really good. I'm taking the glass out. I'm not going to use the glass. But it's just Dollar Tree. I'm going to take this, maybe, I hope. That's going to be the right, uh, it should be the right size, but you know, I'll be done cut it too small, so I'm probably going to use this. Okay. Cut our looks like Halloween wallpaper. Get that in the water. Okay. Yeah, it does. It gets in those grooves, y'all. That looks so cool. Um, and you can do it any color. Just do a like a contrasting color. Um to, to make that stand out. You know, brown or black or white or Orange and black. Orange and black would have looked cool, y'all. Why didn't I do orange and black? So cool. So cool. Shani's going to want this. She's going to be like, I want that ghost frame. I'm going to make one if, when I come. She's coming up here in October this year. <laughs> okay, so here's my ghostly wallpaper. All right. I think I'm looking for it. Here it is. It's hiding. How much glue did you? Oh, it was at least a stick, stick, stick and a half at least. It was a lot. Um, but it was totally worth it, right? Totally worth it which I had made that one a while ago and it was just in my box. My air dry clay, my aluminum foil, my molds, all that are in a box together. And so when I pulled, was pulling stuff out of the box, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about these molds. And I can totally like put a little ghost in there because I saw Mikey do it on a TikTok. 
he painted a ghost inside of a little frame, in a frame, and I was like, oh my gosh, that is adorable. And actually, Shaney, who loves the ghost, she sent me the TikTok, and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta do that, it's so cute. And so, I, then I saw the frame in my box, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna use that frame with that mold. Okay, so here is my, my ghostly wallpaper. That's what it looks like. Um, and we're gonna put the frame, put it back in the frame with no glass. And our little cheap Dollar Tree little frame that I have a bajillion of. Okay, I'm just gonna push the little prongs down like we would if there was glass in there. And look, there's this cute little frame. <laughs> okay, I probably should have, that thing on the back is worrying me. Okay, so now, this is gonna go just like this in the center. Just gotta, we're gonna glue it on. <laughs> I just gotta, gotta get it centered. Okay. And hope that it's gonna stay. But you know, I'm putting glue on the glue, so we'll see. Y'all will find out first right here. Just hope and pray that that looks straight. <laughs> this is a cute idea I saw on a reel on a child's mirror. Yes, I like I said, I saw Mikey from Crafty Guys Co. I saw him on TikTok do this, but he painted the ghost in the frame, and he had like a little, um, a little wood frame thing that he had. But you could even do it with the little small Dollar Tree frames and put the frame inside the frame like this. Oh, this is going to be adorable. I just hope I did it. Yeah, I did it right. Not that it matters. Doesn't matter if it's upside down or what's the right way. So doesn't that look all like, like spooky, Halloween-y kind of look? So cool. Elena, you watched that live from like two years ago. It was hilarious. Yes. Where did you get the ghost? Christina, I made him out of clay. So he started off like this, like just clay, and I painted him with the, like this metallic looking paint. And then I put the little, um, I put his eyes on. But it is this clay right here, and I have been making pumpkins and everything else out of this clay. Like this is, these are clay with the little baby tendril, my gosh. And the acorn is clay. And this guy is clay. Oh, gosh. We did this last week and painted him Tuesday. But he is a jar. A, a pineapple spear jar from Sam's. And he's got a little light in there. But that's my jack o lantern And it's cute. Okay. Y'all... <laughs> Y'all, this is adorable, oh my gosh. I cannot stand it. Y'all just wait, it's so cute. Glue him right on. This Casper's baby picture. This is the cutest thing ever. I hope Mikey sees this. <laughs> Look how stinking cute. Mikey's, I mean, uh, Casper's baby picture. <laughs> Isn't he cute? But y'all see how easy this was? It was just scrapbook paper and, of course, this. But if you didn't have the frame, you could get a smaller frame from the Dollar Tree and do this. And y'all... And he painted his ghost on, but I, you know, I was doing the clay, and then I made these ghosts, and then I said, oh, I'm going to do this with this ghost. So, because he's kind of like 3D there, but oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. Um, and it's, like I said, I, this was glue. <laughs> this is glue. But see, look, you could even do a whole family. 
You could have like mama, daddy ghost, and then a baby ghost. Y'all, I, I just can't. I could just keep going. How did I make the ghost stand up? He's solid clay. He's just clay. That ghost. Lucy and Ethel. Okay, so here's my here's my mold. We're gonna unmold. And I've got there's so many glue strings on here, it's ridiculous. Y'all can imagine. Alright, here it goes. So cool. And that's what it looks like when it comes straight out of the mold. And so you have all these strings and all these little fringes and all that stuff. Haunted house. And yes, it reminds you of the, uh, what's it called? The haunted mansion in Disney World. Yes, exactly. Um, they're making a movie of that or something, I think. But see, that's what it looks like when it comes out of the mold. And you just have to trim because it's not going to be exactly clean because you're going to have drips everywhere. And the back side's not going to be pretty. But you just sit there and trim it out and get all the excess strings and everything off. And it's going to look super cool. And then you chalk paint it and rub some other paint on top. And then you have that. That is so cute. Uh. Do, do Cousin It, Barbara. That'd be hilarious. You could totally do that with a whole bunch of jute and, like, unravel the jute where it looks all curly. Oh, that would be so funny. Oh, my gosh. So stinking cute. Oh, I've got a piece of glue right there. Can't have any... Okay. Can't have any hot glue messing up my, messing up my baby picture. So cute. But look. My little pumpkins. But see, like, do y'all know what I'm talking about when I said that um, you could put these pumpkins on a frame? Like, if you had a thicker frame, you could glue them down here to the bottom. Um, it's Y'all could do all kinds of stuff with these. Add them to your crafts. Um, somebody said, where'd the mold come from, Marsha? It came from Amazon. And I'll try to put the link to it. Um, tomorrow when I post the pictures and stuff, I'll put the link. But I just was searching for fondant, is cake fondant molds or silicone molds. And the, a whole bunch of them are going to come up, okay? But be sure to look at the size, okay? Because that's going to matter. Because I have some, and the molds are like this big. Like, they're like tiny. Like this frame right here. But they're tiny. So be sure to pay attention to the size of what it says the actual things are. Um... Okay, Robin, thank you. Yes, the oh, the glow-in-the-dark glow sticks. Are you kidding me? Y'all, that would be so cool. But, um, yeah, glow-in-the-dark. And you could paint him glow-in-the-dark. Somebody said, did I, use a, did I do a cookie cutter or I did it freehand? I did it freehand. You just make the shape of the ghost. And, like, these lines are my three fingers that I kind of pressed into the clay. And then I just took my fingers and accented those little peaks and then smoothed it all out and let it dry. And he looks like that. These, I just kind of did a little different. And I did lines in it with my little tool right here. And then I just let them dry. But it looks like the little sheets all pleated up. So stinking cute. <laughs> Good night, Barb. So cute. <laughs> She's still on. She's still talking. <laughs> it was, Linda. It was so much fun. And I know y'all got to go. And I have to go. Y'all, this is adorable. Um, I got to paint these guys at some point. But I'm going to have a whole bunch of little punkies. Little pumpkins. I'm going to paint that one Mod Podge over it. But y'all, look. Look at the little tendril. <laughs> y'all can make tendrils. You can make acorns. And Ghost, um, you're welcome. Y'all are so, so sweet. Uh-oh, Diane's got so many ideas for next year. Write it down, Diane, because you're going to forget. Um, or if you're like me, I like take screenshots of stuff, and I'll have to go back and look at stuff. Um, <laughs> good night, Diana. Yep, Donna's off to make her some little ghosts or some little... 
how cute are these guys going to be? I'm going to paint them. And y'all are going to see them tomorrow. And you'll be like, oh my gosh, look at those. I'm probably going to paint them pink. Yeah, I can make leaves. Little bitty leaves. The pillow pumps. is Christy, these are from like two years ago. Like, not last fall, but fall of 21. 21, yeah. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Good night. Everybody saying good night. Yeah, so many crafts to put on your calendar. This one is adorable. And I hope Mikey sees it. If y'all are followers of him, please screenshot this and go send it to him. Because I did see it on TikTok. And I saw him do it on TikTok. But I made my ghost instead of painted it. So I kind of tweaked it to my own. But this is so cute. <laughs> but yes. That was that, and it was, where was it? Here, this. Glue. Now it's not glue anymore. <laughs> Looks so cute. Night, Barb. Thank you, Tracy. Thank y'all for being here. As always, support me. I love each one of y'all. I love doing this, as y'all can tell. It's all over my face. This is my joy, my passion, and I couldn't do it without all of you, and I just love it. I just love making something out of a, a block of clay. And I've got so much happiness out of it. And that, and it'll go a long way for sure. It's the best, it'll be the best $8 you ever spend. You'll have so much fun making all the things. And you'll have little pumpkins all over your whole house. And your family are going to be like, where are these pumpkins coming from? They just keep coming out everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> Night, Gwen. Oh, you too, Lori. Y'all are so sweet. I will see y'all Monday night. We'll see what we got cooked up for that. I got to cook up something else. We're going to get our little spatula and we'll cook something else up. I don't know. Love y'all. I'll see y'all Monday night. Bye. Boo. <laughs> Bye, guys.